halogens, they form uh, diatomics. Halogens are noted by the letter X, capital letter X. They form diatomics. Uh, each halogen would be NS2, NP5 for its electronic configuration. Which would be the most reactive halogen? Fluorine. Yeah, F minus is the most reactive. I minus would be the least reactive. The reason is polarizability. Polarizability has to do with size. That means iodine is bigger, even though it has a minus charge, the charge is distributed over a very large area. Versus fluorine, uh, might have less electrons, but it's much smaller. So that uh, minus charge is distributed over a very small area. Um, Astatine, which is the bottom, the very bottom one, has really no practical uh, importance uh, whatsoever. <laughs> it's uh, very short-lived, it's radioactive, uh, and we're going to talk about radioactivity in a later chapter. These are generally produced uh, by two processes, industrially, oxidation, uh, or electrolysis. Is electrolysis spontaneous or non-spontaneous? Non-spontaneous, so that you must add an external source in order to produce whatever you're producing. Uh, let's do a, a practical application. I don't know if you've ever seen glass etching. That's where you might have glass and designs are etched into the glass. Uh, glass is what? What substance? Yeah, it's a silica, S, like a SiO2, it's amorphous, uh, it's a solid. If you add hydrofluoric acid, is that strong or weak acid? Weak. Those of you who knew that, how did you know that? Yeah, if you had my class before, it's not a strong acid. By default, it must be weak. There's only a handful of strong acids. Um, the other reason you can know that is the conjugate base. Uh, is not stable. So that makes the acid weaker. Okay, uh, so this is the acid. You add four of these. You make a, si oh, this should be an arrow. A silica fluoride, or silicon fluoride, gas, and two waters. Which water is a liquid. Oh. Water is a liquid. Uh, the gas leaves the surface, so you're etching into the glass. Uh, this gas right here leaves the surface, and there's your etch. Okay, halogens also form what's called oxy acids. You've seen these before, oxy acids. Uh, let me write them down first, and then I'll show you a picture of them. H O X. H O X O, H O X O two, H O that's an X. H O X O three. Those are your oxy acids. Let's make a little table here. Right here, I'm going to put the oxidation state or the charge. What's the charge for the first one? For the first X. Right here. Yeah, uh, it's going to be positive 1 because the oxygen's minus 2, the hydrogen's plus 1. So it's going to be plus 1. So <coughs> halogens, X, can have a positive charge. How about the next one? Plus 3 and follow the pattern, plus 5 and plus 7. Um, this would be, what's the name of these? The name here would be hypo halus. I'll just use hal for halogen. Uh, halus acid. We've got halus acid for the next one. What would this one be? Halic acid. And what's the prefix for the last one? Perhalic. So you learned these before, you might have forgot, but there they are again. Uh, so for example, if X was chlorine, 
It'd be hypochlorous acid, chlorous acid, chloric acid, and perchloric acid, whatever the halogen prefix or root stem name is. Let me show you a picture of these oxy acids. I hear some more shapes for you. You got hypo, and uh, this is without the hal uh, the uh, what's it called the hydrogen. So uh, this is just the anion, polyatomic name, hypochlorite, that's linear, it's got three lone pairs. You've got chlorite, ClO2, that's angular. Over here we got chlor eight, more oxygens with an A-T-E-N-E, less oxygens up there, I-T-E. This has three oxygens and a one lone pair. This is trigonal pyramidal. What is, uh, well, I'll do that in a second. And this is perchlorate, CLO4. This is tetrahedral. What is the electronic shape for all of these? Tetrahedral. What's listed here is called the molecular or geometric shape. So these are the really the molecular shapes that are listed in parentheses. Uh, let's try a little practice of drawing one of these out, just so you can vaguely remember how Lewis works. 